Machine Gun Kelly screwed over Megan Fox, and now she's exposing him on the internet. Fans are pretty sure MGK cheated on Megan, and now she's out for revenge. So let's get into it. There are so many people fascinated with Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox's relationship, but now it looks like their engagement has come to an end. The media is reporting that Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly have broken up, and it looks like Megan is hinting to possible cheating rumors. Megan Fox sparks Machine Gun Kelly breakup rumors with a cryptic post. Early on February 12th, Megan shared an Instagram post that had fans wondering if she and MGK have called it quits. There's a lot of pressure on this relationship because they've been so public with everything, and I don't think anyone really saw this coming. Megan hinted at a possible breakup between herself and Machine Gun Kelly on Instagram when she uploaded a post and captioned it with lyrics from Beyonce's 2016 album Lemonade. And if you guys remember Beyonce's album Lemonade, that has a specific theme to it. So when it comes to Megan pulling out this caption, it seems like she's trying to allude to something Machine Gun Kelly did. And the post itself is pretty interesting because it's a photo of a fire and it looks like Megan is burning some type of a letter. And she wrote in the lyrics, you can taste the dishonesty. It's all over your breath, which Sounds like cheating to me. And I'm also interested in what this envelope signifies, what it is, what it could be. Could it be a letter or something? Could it be some official document like a marriage certificate or who really knows? But she's burning this and doing it publicly. And I think she's burning this specific envelope because it probably registers to Machine Gun Kelly. Like he probably knows what that is by seeing the photo. Probably means something in their relationship. The former couple have been seemingly inseparable since going public with their relationship in 2020, and they often coordinate their outfits while out and about. In 2021, the Jennifer's Body star told Access Hollywood's Zuri Hall how her and MGK's style is so in sync on the red carpet. And obviously this is a big shock to everyone because when we see this couple out and about, we're interested by them because they are a little bit bizarre. If you've not seen my video covering their relationship, definitely go and check that out. But it just didn't seem like they would get to this point because, you know, Megan claims that she actually manifested him and that she, like, you know brought him into her life and wanted someone exactly like him since she was four years old because she's four years older than him so she believes like part of the reason why he exists is because she just wished upon him like oh fuck we're gonna be in so much trouble because he's literally like my exact physical type that i've been manifesting since i was four i'm also four years older than him so i think i made him my thoughts and intentions grew him into the person that he is. Who knows what he would have looked like or been like if it wasn't for me. So in the comment section of her post, someone commented suggesting that Machine Gun Kelly was unfaithful in the relationship and they wrote, he probably got with Sophie. Megan actually replied and said, maybe I got with Sophie with a fire emoji. For one fan commented, he probably got with Sophie. Megan responded, maybe I got with Sophie, adding a fire emoji. Megan also fueled the breakup speculation by deleting pics of MGK off her Instagram grid and seemingly deleting her Instagram altogether. So let's talk about who Sophie is, because maybe Sophie is the person that Machine Gun Kelly cheated on Megan with. Um, I did see one like TikToker share that like, Machine Gun Kelly supposedly hooked up with a guy. I'm not entirely sure where they're getting that information, but Sophie's actually the drummer in Machine Gun Kelly's band, so that makes a little bit more sense because they would be around each other and performing, and maybe there's something going on there. But I also don't think that Megan would actually comment back if it was Sophie. Anyways, she did end up deleting a bunch of pictures on her Instagram. I mean, her entire Instagram is gone now, um, and it looks like she's of course, removed photos of her and Machine Gun Kelly, which he has not done. He still has all of their posts all over his Instagram. But something I found even more bizarre is the fact that she unfollowed a bunch of people and then followed three specific guys. First off, she followed Harry Styles, then Timothy Chamlet. Chamlet? Timothy Chamlet. Am I saying that right? And then Eminem. And Eminem... <laughs> 
it's a big deal that she followed him because Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly have major beef. They do not get along. Um, it's been a feud for a very long time. So if they're having like a fight and this is where she's going with it, um, it's extremely toxic and it's playing out publicly, which speaks volumes about how they handle their issues privately. I honestly thought that they were okay because Megan and Machine Gun Kelly were recently at the Grammys and um I guess Megan at some point like commented uh you know Machine Gun Kelly for showing a new side of himself after losing a Grammy. I mean he went there and I don't think he expected to win. He didn't win ultimately but they had you know it seemed like it was good vibes. They were in good spirits. But I did find a few bizarre reports like this one for example that brought up her hot pink cast which I've seen pictures of her with her cast on but then I've also seen like pictures where she doesn't have it on so I don't know how she got this cast or um what happened to lead to this concussion that she experienced but something went on and i hope it's not like a domestic situation there's also this report which claims that megan did not accompany machine gun kelly on the red carpet which they were actually late for the red carpet so i'm pretty sure they missed it so i don't know why they're saying this because they were actually there and i saw pictures of them and honestly machine gun kelly looks really rough here like it looks like he's going through something and maybe megan Megan's going through something too because she also posted this picture on her Instagram and there's something I noticed in the background. Alongside a mirror selfie showing Fox rocking a strapless black top and matching pants as well as a hot pink arm cast to treat her recent wrist injury. So this person on Twitter brought up the fact that there's like a human trafficking like poster in the background. Um, it's to, I guess, encourage people to walk away from their current situation. And uh, I mean, I've seen these posters around, especially in Florida. There's a lot in Florida. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is just in the bathroom, but some people see it as like a way for her to, I guess, cry out for help. I kind of feel like a lot of these celebrities are victims of like human trafficking, but that's a whole other video. So at this point, Megan posted those pictures and now she's completely deleted her Instagram, probably taking some space away so that they can figure out what's really going on here. There was a Super Bowl party on Saturday night that Machine Gun Kelly performed at. Megan was not there and he performed Bloody Valentine, which is a song that he supposedly wrote about Megan. She was in the music video, but when he performed it, at this Super Bowl party, he was quoted saying that he dedicated this song to the ladies. So not dedicating it to his lady, Megan Fox, but the ladies in the crowd and out and about. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's so immature that it's playing out on social media, but what do you expect? Because their entire relationship has pretty much been out and in our faces so now we're gonna see their breakup go down and if he did cheat on her that's really unfortunate because we've seen a lot of cheating in hollywood recently and when are these men and women going to learn let's go ahead and open a peel box package item i have so many right here to open for you guys simply sisters designs with a z which i will link everything below okay so we've got some business card situation here which is really nice like that's a nice business card <gasps> my hands are so orange why is my hand white here how did that oh because i stretched the plastic dear sloan we're a small business in virginia oh i'm from virginia who specializes in personalized gifts my sister and i have been watching your videos for so long and we know that's where to get the accurate tea enclosed is a personalized notebook from our etsy shop that we figured could be helpful for your research i hope you enjoy simply sisters designs thank you so much let's go ahead and check this out Packaging is really nice. Super protected and oh, look cute. It has my name on it. This is so nice. I really like this. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I almost don't want to get all the packaging, but I always need paper. So this will be super helpful. So I'll go ahead and list their um, Etsy shop below. Good luck with everything. And I really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.